anybody bothered? I think a little bit. Why? <laughs> There's a square root. Is this relativity? Yeah, well, okay. There's a one, there's something over something else. Yeah, and that other thing. Yeah, so. Uh, so. Uh, well, okay. There was this dude, Pythagoras, and there's been different flavors of that same dude in different cultures figuring out. Pythagorean theorem. So yeah, we use the Pythagorean theorem. That's true. That's not what, yeah. Yeah. I'm a little bothered. Um, is, does that imply that uh, Vf is larger than V0? Doesn't that imply that Vf is bigger than V0? Yep. How many agree that that implies How many don't believe that that implies V final is bigger than V naught? Uh, yeah, please, wherever you are. Is that a realistic situation? <laughs> <laughs> Aha! So, this is example five, sample problem five from chapter three of the course text. We done it good, we done it right. That doesn't mean that it's going to happen, okay? <laughs> what we did was we made sure not to violate the law of conservation of momentum. Having been told that the pin actually goes at right angles, <laughs> we were forced into this. So does that mean that this absolutely could not, okay, so just saying, this is bigger than one. Okay, so does, does this mean that it's all hogwash, or could you actually engineer such a collision? Why is it a problem that Vf is bigger than V0? Before, when we had the, the ping pong ball in the pickup truck, we had more momentum in the pickup truck than we had in the ping pong ball. You weren't whining about, well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ronak. But doesn't this case, it would imply energy being created. Who? It would imply that energy. Energy, yeah, 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 yeah. See, see, we don't know about energy, yeah. So somebody earlier was commenting, I must be from West. So in that spirit, maybe there was a little gunpowder didn't say in the problem statement, but okay, maybe it got a little extra kick. So in a collision, there are lots of different directions that the things could come out in and still be consistent with conserving momentum. Okay, usually it's not enough to say, I'm throwing this thing at that other thing. I know their masses, I know the initial velocity to solve for the final velocities. Okay, there are lots of different angles that they could come out at and conserve momentum. We're going to worry more later about conserving energy in a collision. That's called an elastic collision. Most collisions aren't elastic. Okay, they do conserve momentum but not necessarily energy. And so you should file away the following. Energy is guilty until proven innocent. Momentum is always innocent until proven guilty. Okay? Momentum is conserved in collisions. So takeaways for today. Momentum is a vector. That means if it's conserved that in a three-dimensional world, all three components of momentum have to be the same before and after. It is conserved when we don't act on the system with external forces. And 
conserving momentum is usually not enough to figure out from the initial condition what the final condition must be. It's a necessary requirement of the solution, but it is not sufficient. 